I hate when spray foam cans stop squirting stuff out and then you smash them with a hammer and all this crap comes out. Why does it get clogged so easily? Do you know? Anyway, let's go do something else. That's enough boxes for today, right? Mm, it's pouring rain out there today. But I've got some spray foaming to do. Okay, you're staying here because you're not waterproof. When in order to have space inside to be able to work, I had to get the boxes out of the way. So that's what's here and all over there. The front of the building is totally full of boxes now. But the inside's empty. Ooh, boxes and boxes. Well, at least it's empty-ish. There's still this giant robot in the way. Uh, but that's okay. But check out all the space in here. And I got my scaffolding out in the right position to do some more boxes up there. And I also got a whole bunch more spray foam since it's working very well. And the red cans seem to be doing the best job. And they don't get clogged as easily as the blue ones because with the blue cans, I start going and like halfway through the can, it wouldn't come out anymore. Anyway, the red ones seem to be doing a pretty good job so far. Oh, and I cleared out half the space by putting stuff on the shelves. It took like seriously all day to clean this place out, but whatever. Now there's space to work, so I'm going up. Oh, right. First, I need to prep some boxes. Uh, I've got them sort of organized out here. The long skinny ones, the short wider ones, and then there's those other ones over there, and there's another, si another size over there. I need a whole bunch of the, the shortest sh fat ones. And then I need to take them over to the water tub area, which is over there, dunk them in the water to make sure they're pretty clean, then bring them over, and then then I can glue them up in place. And I think the next row after that is gonna be the long skinny ones, but the shorter ones. Because uh, I'm using the, the tallest ones uh, as shelves in the bottom, because in the top it doesn't matter, because I'm not gonna use those for shelves, so it doesn't matter how deep they are against the wall. Um, so I better go wash some of these. Oh, but it rained last night. That means all the ones that are like this on the top face up are pretty clean. Yeah, totally clean. So I just need to grab a bunch of these. I don't even have to wash them. Did I say totally clean? Because that might be a slight exaggeration. But totally clean enough. Uh, up on the scaffolding. Scaffolding? Did I say scaffolding? Up on the scaffolding! Spray foam, check. Bunch of boxes, check. And clippity clippy things. They're all right there. Okay, now I can go up. <laughs> Well, that's basically one can of spray foam worth right up there. I'm gonna have to put some wheels on my scaffolding. It makes nice ruts when I drag it though. I was just thinking I need more storage up on my scaffolding for all these fish boxes because I can't hold that many up there. So I decided to string a bunch of ropes between these two poles. I should be able to reach from up there and grab them from down here. Here goes another can of spray foam. Ooh, it's getting huge. Hey look, there's a little human down there. Hi. Well, you make this place look enormous. I think that's it for today. So what are we doing next? Hi. Uh, what's next? Uh, running. Okay, let's go running. Okay, right. I gotta continue these rows up at the top. Then there's this back section that I haven't done yet because there's that spot where the big hole is. But I think I'm just gonna fill in around it and connect the rows up there across so they can start going right up to the cliff. And then, I don't know, I'll figure out what to do back there later. Maybe I'll just get a bunch of cans of spray foam, set them back there, shoot them with a shotgun, and just blast the whole area with foam. Well, probably not. Now while I'm doing all this, there's someone else making sure they're all clean and stacking them for me to use. Which is pretty sweet and awesome help. Let's go check it out. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm here. I zoomed in from really far away. Hi Sparkles!
Whoa, we zoomed in too far. Oh, I better get out of the way. So that's the clean pile over there? Yeah. Cool. Wow, look at the dirty pile. Oh, 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 oh. oh, more over there. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna get back to gluing. Now, it may seem like cleaning the boxes is the dirty job, but spray foam does not come off your hands. I think that's why I got stuck with this part. Well, I also like this part more. It's, I, I think it's fun building. <laughs> All right, one of the problems with having a styrofoam wall ceiling situation is that you can't attach anything to it because it's just styrofoam. You can't like screw into it, they'll just fall out. Anyway, I need to be able to hang things from the ceiling because that's what I like to do with stuff. You know, I'll probably want to have like a trolley that runs across the top with like a chain hoist that comes down so I can like pick stuff up and move it around. Anyway, uh, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start taking care of that situation. And what I want to have in the ceiling is one pipe that runs the whole length along the middle and one that runs over there and, that one, and one that goes over there. And then there will be a couple pipes like connecting them like that. So it will make like a grid of pipes like along the ceiling. So to attach them up there, uh, see this thing here that was part of the garage door situation? I took one of those off. Well, I'll go show you. All right, it was that thing up there, which, you know, holds the uh, garage door tracks, which are just hanging right now. I took the one over here apart, which leaves me with three of these. Now, I'm going to cut this into maybe foot-long sections, enough that when I attach it into the ceiling, I'm going to put it right up in, like, one of these slots where the, the, the bolts stick through. I'm going to probably cut this to the length that it'll attach to three bolts so that the weight will be spread out over three of them and I'll put one of these maybe every two or three segments down the whole thing and then I can bolt pieces of polycarbonate on here that'll come through the insulation and then the pipe will be attached that's that's like upside down of how, how, I'm, how, I'm, how I'm explaining it so the the polycarbonate will hang down and then the pipe will go attach from that across all of them. And I'm thinking the uh, polycarbonate is basically plastic. That should insulate a lot better than a chunk of steel sticking through the insulation. So that's why I'm picking that. Why don't you attach it to those things? Oh, you mean those things right there? Yeah. Yeah, then I can attach it on the bottom and I'll attach it at the top. It's not quite where I want them to be, but it's pretty close because I wanted them to be right here, but then I could just put them there and then I wouldn't have to have such a long thing attaching because the two bolts are close and then it wouldn't have to hang down so far and it would be easier to make sturdy, right? Yep. Well, good thinking. Good thinking. Oh, now I remember why I wanted it up in the crack up there because it will mess with the insulation less than if it's like down here because the box will be right against it. By far the most time consuming part is waiting for things to solidify. So just put the, all those in. And if I put another row on top, it'll start getting too heavy and fall away and I have little magnet holders holding them up. So I have to wait till they solidify a little bit. And I'd go over here, but my scaffolding's over there and it's not easy to move. So I'm waiting so I can put a couple more rows up here and then I can move over. Mm. Well. There's lots of other stuff to do though, so I'll just like cut some stuff up or do whatever while I'm waiting for that. Apparently it's not nearly dangerous enough in here. So we're augmenting the scaffolding with some of this and some stuff and okay, I, I gotta go.